Well, I will say Matthew Barnes. Yes, that Matthew Barnes. The Matthew Barnes that once drove like hundreds of miles to confront uh, Derek Fisher over here, over over who is now Derek Fisher's wife, Gloria Govan. Yeah, that Derek Fisher came out sometime yesterday in support of uh, Emi Udoku about the current situation, about his suspension and stuff. Well, 24 hours later, he ended up taking down that support and putting this video up um, saying that apparently there's a lot more to this story than what's um, being put out there right now. I'll let you take a listen. I'll come out and say it. And since I'm a part of the media now and I try not to be like everyone else, uh, I try to, you know, report and talk with facts and, and, and honesty. And I clearly have to say last night, uh, without knowing all the facts, I spoke on Ime Udoka's defense. And after finding out the facts after I spoke, I erased what I posted because this situation in Boston is deep. It's messy. It's a hundred times uglier than any of us thought. And that's why I erased what I said. Uh, some things happened that I can't condone, I can't back. And it's not my place to tell you what happened. If it ends up coming out, it ends up coming out. But that was the reason why I erased my post last night because after I posted it, I got a call from someone who had all the details and the shit is deep. So, man, praying for everybody involved. Um, you know, hope everyone gets through this. And I saw a lot of blogs picked up what I said even though it was only on my page for like two minutes. So hopefully they pick this up too um, for me being wrong and, and jumping out there without the facts. So that's where I'm going to leave it. God bless. And I hope yeah. And I won't say who, but I just talked to a friend who's been following this case myself. And let me say, if it, you know, I've reported what is out there. Or what's allegedly out there, but if but if what else he told me turns out turns out to be true, ooh, this may be even worse than what we thought. And d don't get me wrong, the timing, especially with the whole Brett Favre thing and the whole welfare fraud case that's happening down down south, I think Mississippi, especially with the problems they've been having in in Jackson. Mississippi particularly the timing is suspect I will admit it is suspect still though the one thing down in Mississippi is a developing story as is this but they're gonna go with this is it the cover up for Brett Favre probably but here's the thing the man would have kept his um business in his pants, we wouldn't be here. That's just the bottom line. I mean, you talk about conspiracy, and it may very well be that. You may talk about conspiracy and covering up for Brett Favre and all that, and I've heard that from a few places, from a few people I even knew. But here's the bottom line. Udoko keeps it in his pants. We don't hear about this. End of story. I'm out.